What kind of world do we live in where we can't stage a fake gay bashing without really being gay bashed? <laughs>
Barrel roll me, roundhouse kick, uppercut, I'd be out cold. It was beautiful. We nailed this time and time again. There was at one point, this old woman just out of nowhere was like, he deserved that! He deserved it! Because I'm a good actor. <laughs> Tommy's a better actor, though. Because after every time he beat my ass, he would celebrate, people would, run, people would walk up and high-five him and shit. He's like, I'm dicks two for one by the inch for the next hour, which makes less sense than just selling dick by the inch. Dick two for one by the inch? What does that even mean? I don't care, it's hilarious. <laughs> so at one point, we do, we do the fight. I'm laying there, unconscious. He's celebrating, a few people come by and high five. And at one point, just out of nowhere, this dude rolls up on him eating a lucky dog, which if you've never been to New Orleans, a lucky dog, it's just a giant hot dog. Someone chuckled like they know what a lucky dog is. Oh, it's bad. It's like 14 inches of hot dog. I don't know why they call it lucky, unless you're the kind of person who's like, oh, I get to shit 15 times tomorrow. <laughs> lucky me. Yum, 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 yum. But this dude just rolls up on Tommy, who's like celebrating. He's like, dick is three for one by the inch. It keeps getting funnier the more he offers it up. It makes less sense. He's num, 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 num. And this guy walks up, nibbling on his lucky dog. He's like, hey, dude, you really gay? You really gay? And I, first of all, I thought that was a funny thing of him to ask that question while nibbling on a giant phallic-shaped thing in a bun. You really gay? And I'm watching this a few feet away, pretending to be unconscious, thinking, oh, damn, a real John. <laughs> We are good. <laughs> but then, Tommy, still in character, doesn't break in front of anyone, goes, yes, I am, Mr. Man, gay as shit. <laughs> Dick, it's free for you. <laughs> and then this man, this stranger, drops that lucky dog, rears back and punches Tommy in the chest hard. No, no stage combat now, just straight up, thump, <laughs> punches him fucking hard. And I, I see that and think, oh no, a real gay basher. <laughs> we were too good. No! So I jump up, I get between them. I'm like, hey, hey dude, back off. Seriously, back off. It's fine. And this dude goes, what? Man, fuck that. He was about to rape you. <laughs> Is that what was about to happen? <laughs> He was 20 feet away, dancing. <laughs> what do you think rape is, sir? You think it's just someone dancing 20 feet away from you? But then I realized this guy's a bigot. Like all bigots, he thinks incorrectly. So I was just like, dude, it's fine. Get the fuck out of here, man. He's not gay. He's my friend. But Tommy, as I said, a great actor, doesn't break character. And he's still in character. And now he's angry. And just goes, fuck this. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm gay as shit! <laughs> Bring it, motherfucker! Bring it! <laughs> what happens next was, that gay basher throws one punch. It hits me, directly in the jaw. Now, if you've never been hit directly in your jaw before, what happens is, your legs disappear! <laughs> they disappear! They turn into a magical cloud that you float to the ground, happen, bye! <laughs> And I say this only once in my life. I'm glad I, wasn't con I was on cocaine. I'm glad because I didn't get knocked out. I fell, but I stayed conscious. And I credit that entirely with the blow in my system. <laughs> and I'm glad I stayed conscious because what I saw next was amazing. What I saw next was my friend Tommy, who I'd known most of my life, who I knew was trained in stage combat just like I. I saw him square up on this dude, Wolverine style. <laughs> take a punch to the face and go, that's all I needed. And then fuck this guy up. Bam! Destroyed him. Like, destroyed him. Like, and I mean, like, didn't, yes, trained in stage combat didn't matter. Turns out he was a natural at real combat. It was amazing. There was like Jason Bourne elbows and shit. He landed a jump knee. He landed a jump knee. When have you seen anyone ever just land a jump knee? 
in the dude's chin. Knock, it was, like, it was so badass that when Tommy was finally done with this dude, we had to skedaddle. Because now we were the bad guys. We'd gone too far. So we got up, got the fuck out of there, went to a bar, had an emergency medical beer. And we're just kind of like, walking around talking about, I'm like, I'm yapping my ass off. Like, I can't believe that happened. That was amazing. Tommy's been quiet for some time, like a few minutes now. And he finally just goes, look, like, you understand though that that was real. That was real. I was like, yeah, I know it was real. It hurt. Like, Ow. <laughs> then he goes, he gets real serious. He's like, no, no. Um, I'm the gay thing. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay. I've tried to come out to you for years. I said it then, figuring, fuck it, kill two birds with one stone. I'm gay. So if you think about this for a second, not only am I the only person who's straight that I've ever met who's been gay bashed, but that is how my friend Tommy got to come out to me which is the most badass way to come out of the closet possible. Just announce, yes I am, I'm gay as shit. Bring it, motherfucker. And then immediately thrash a bigot, like right out of the gates, you know? Can't top it. Can't top it. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, I just took a break from flying through space to tell you to uh, click like over there so that we get more YouTube hits. And don't forget to subscribe so that next week when the story comes out, you'll get that as well. Oh, there goes the celestial planet. Hi, planet.